Hello, and welcome to TMC's how-to demo series for Dynamics 365 Sales, where we explore the features and functions of Dynamics 365 Sales. If you'd like to request a topic or area that we haven't already covered, please let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make that happen. Today I'll be covering how to create a new security role for salespeople in Dynamics 365 Sales. I'm Miriam Florio, CRM Practice Manager here at Technology Management Concepts. Today we'll be covering accessing security roles, changing or creating a security role, the recommended changes to salesperson security, and how to apply that new role to a user. So let's get started. So I'm logged into my sales hub, and as a system administrator, I can access the back end of the system where I'm going to apply some security changes. So I'm going to click on the settings wheel in the upper right hand corner of my screen and go to advanced settings. Once inside of Advanced Settings, then you can see that I have a Settings drop-down box. And under System, I'm going to click on Security. Under Security is where I would set up users and also access security roles or modify those roles. We're going to go ahead and click Into the Security Roles. So there are a lot of canned security roles that come with Dynamics 365 Sales. I'm going to actually look for the salesperson security role. And the best practice when you want to modify a security role is not to go into a canned or existing security role and change it. Rather, you're going to want to make a copy of that security role. Oftentimes when people make changes to security roles inside of Dynamics 365, they may change something and inadvertently change other things and not be able to figure out what they did and have to go back um, and retrace their steps, which can be very difficult. So we always suggest making a copy of that security role. So we're going to go under Actions at the top here and click Copy Role. And we'll give this one a new role. I recommend just naming it with your organization's name. In this case, I'm going to call it TMC Salesperson. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now once that new security role is created, it should come up on your screen. If it doesn't come up and you still see the old security role showing, simply X out of the pop-up window and open the new role that you just created. You're going to want to make sure that role name matches the new role name that you named. So let's just take a look at the core records tab. And we're not going to make too many changes, but the suggested changes for security roles for salespeople are the following. One is to remove delete rights on primary entities or the main entities that your salespeople are going to be using. And really this is to avoid two things. One is accidentally deleting accounts out of the system or contacts or opportunities. And the other is purposely deleting data from CRM. So we don't want either thing to happen. In fact, you should have at your organization a process by which a record can get deleted. Unless you're regularly deleting accounts, contacts, or opportunities, there really shouldn't be much of a need in a production environment for folks to need to delete those records. So we're going to actually click on the Account Delete option and remove it. So I'm going to click several times here, and you can see that the circle is empty. And that says None Selected, meaning that people in the TMC salesperson security role cannot delete accounts whether they're their own or anybody else's. So we're going to scroll down. We don't want to remove this entire column. We just want to go to those entities that we find a little more important and sensitive and remove that option for delete. Unfortunately, you can't see here that this column actually represents delete, so you just have to keep that in mind that it's the fourth column over. So I'm also going to go down to the opportunity and do the same thing. Another suggestion is under Business Management. So if you scroll down under Business Management, you can see that there are additional options here. Privacy related privileges for salespeople that are currently all set to true or for the entire organization. If you want to be really mindful of your data or you're worried about losing data, if somebody's going to export it out and import it into another system or keep it locally on their machine, you want to remove the Export to Excel option. Again, should they need that list, you can always have a process by which they go to a certain individual at your organization and ask for that export or state a reason why they need the export out of CRM. 
The other option that I generally recommend turning off is the merge option. So when users are merging records, let's say they find a duplicate, ABC Company and ABC Co, they happen to be the same account inside of CRM, they'd want to merge those records. Now the danger in merging records is that you can't undo the merge. So once I've taken two records, essentially one of those is deleted and gone, and it's combined into a single record. If somebody accidentally merges two records that should have not been merged, you're going to have to go to a backup from the previous night or whenever uh, that was actually identified as having been performed. So you may want to remove that merge option as well. There are also other options inside of the security role, as you can see, but those are the main ones that I recommend turning off for salespeople. Once you're satisfied with the changes, go ahead and click Save and Close. And then let's just take a look at how to apply that security role to a user inside of CRM. So I'm going to click my settings down arrow at the top of the screen here and go back to security. I could have also used my browser's back button, but I just like navigating at the top like that. So I'm going to go under users. So once I'm under the users, I'm going to want to search for the user to which I want to apply the new security role. So I can actually just search for the user, select that user, and click manage roles. And under this window, you'll see any of the roles that have been applied to the user. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and select TMC salesperson. Once I've selected that option, I can always verify that they don't have any other security roles that I don't want them to have or remove the old security role that was applied and click OK. So what did we learn today? We learned how to create a new security role using the copy role feature. We learned how to ensure data security by locking down the salesperson security role. And we also learned how to apply that role to a user. Thanks for watching our D365 sales demo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it lets us know you like what we're doing. Join me next time for more Dynamics 365 sales.